Hello again. This is the Watering Man, Spiritual Toolbox number 85, The Love Chapter number 61, Audio Recording number 403, and Examination Table number 65. Let's document of it. Let's uh, dissect this bad boy. <coughs> and prove it for yourself inside here. Each person. Not be out the lambast or condemn nobody else. Take care of your own backyard, your own mind. Get your mind right. That's the prayers of a righteous man. Get your mind right, and then that way, when you get that log, that ego out of your own mind, your own eye, your own vision, your own see, your own seeing, hearing, taste, touch, and smell, you can see clearly with Christ in control. Of your seeing, hearing, taste, touch, and smell. Of everything you're facing. Um, in every in, in, in specific um, areas of your thinking process to help other people get a splinter or get that out of their eye. What you can see. See, what you can see, uh, what you understand of what they're going through is like a splinter. It may very well be a log in their eye, but to you... All you see is like a splinter of it at best. But you can help them. Once you're EN and SYN got in, in an area of your thinking process. <clears throat> or if you're farther along through that eye of the needle. Then you can help guide them. But only up to where you're at. If you're not yet EN and SYN. Knowing the battle is the Lord's and resting in God, that God's not going to mess up. No matter what it looks like, you're resting in the fact that God's, it's God's battle. God's doing it. You just agree, agree, agree. And that's why in, you're in union with God. Stay in that existing that. That's That's what you can help them with. But all this other condemning stuff is no they don't need your poopy thinking in their eye too okay you know what i'm saying your right mindedness your righteousness in their eye, eye because they got to deal with their own righteousness that old log in their eye just because you can see it as a as a splinter in their eye doesn't mean that you can try to get it out because your works your big old hand boom, put their eye out mess them up even worse think about that <clears throat> but like like it says some water and some get some get plant the seed some water the seed but God gives the increase God's got to work that personal relationship out between each person and God inside because you, no matter how, what your intentions are, good, bad, ugly, you can't help them. You can only help them as much as God permits. If God has bring, brought you all the way through uh, experience, all the way in and that's why in God, to where you know God loves you beyond words in this area, <clears throat> and another person needs help in this area, you can help guide them through that but it's in that love beyond words that love may may seem harsh because sometimes these storms in life are pretty harsh it's not gonna be oh, grandiose great good oh it's bad 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 yeah 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 i don't know if you could hear if it picked it up but my wife said says so like when your child is is constantly big 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 for this toy or this this candy in the store they've already got a few rotten teeth and stuff and pushing going towards diabetes and, and they're, <laughs> they're they're wanting this candy 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 daddy mommy and uh they don't really need it here, you know, we're going to get this good food. This is how much money we've got to spend in this store. If we got anything left over, we might get you a little something. But you only get that after you eat your good stuff. All right? 
the parents in, 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 in charge of that situation. And Father God, who is the ultimate parent, is in charge of ours. Thank goodness, thank the Lord that God is faithful to do it until the end, right? <laughs> because he knows it much better than we do. We can see down like to this like little hair length, as far as we can think, as far as we're possibly know, no matter how, it's not about even intelligence. It's how much, why, how wise are you? That's as far down as we can see. And God expand that up, blow it up to the size of the observable universe, like with a really powerful magnifying glass or microscope beyond our natural means. And look at it all the way down to that seed, that plank length side length size C that one e to the negative 35 uh meters uh, you know and that's just telling telling giving an example of how in the spirit god looks at it and god knows that better way better than you know and that spirit is communicating with with uh god and things that you can't even begin to utter he goes to bat for you Bam! Home run. All right? Every time, if you rely upon God, the battle is the Lord's. Okay? Now, you can request and all this stuff. I'd like to have this big lollipop, God. It really tastes good, I think. Man, it'd make me so I'd tip on through the toilet. So I'd be walking in high cotton. You know? <laughs> I'd really be getting it. And God said, nah, you don't need that right now. Huh? <laughs> yeah, but 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 my wife's going but 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 daddy, you know, but means on the contrary, disagreeing with God. But 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 that's a good thing. That'd be a good thing. Well, I knew it, my child. Listen to me. You don't need that right now. That candy right there probably gonna rot your teeth out. Look at them right now. They got big holes in them. <laughs> <laughs> or, or some some silly stuff like that make it stick in your mind so it's like oh <clears throat> i didn't realize i was doing that that's that's a uh, uh well uh, that's like uh an extreme that's like a something tangible like that you can understand really that we can all understand real easy um but uh it's something to show us something much deeper that's going on Okay, <laughs> we don't want to be like that. Now, let me get to this. <coughs> I'm continuing in that um, where I was talking about God's getting out that poopy thinking inside of us. He's transforming it. Let's see. Hang on, just a bit. Uh. One thought process or area of a thought process, this little ball, okay, <clears throat> of our thinking that's inside of all these, this big ball inside this mind. I'm not talking about this uh, general shape of your head, no. <laughs> Although that is kind of, it's an oval looking thing, but, but it, it, it's a, uh, yeah, but, uh, yeah, not Charlie Brown looking more perfectly like a sphere, like a ball, but, um, <clears throat> but, uh, um, all right, that's just comical stuff here, but this is, the, these little balls, is just showing us like a picture of what this, this, not just a circle, it's a ball, I'll, I'll try to get to that, I got this later in these notes, but I got quite a few notes to get through, and <clears throat> some of it might seem redundant, but we need this. So that we can uh, assimilate it and get familiar with it. Hopefully, it'll bring out this pattern, of what God's doing in there. So you go, oh, later after a while, doing this, you'll be like, well, of course. Oh, what other way would you think? You know, um, it becomes obvious. Oh, it's not hidden anymore, like that old carnal mind of our own. Each of our own carnal mind wants to keep it. Keep got whatever God's telling us to do. Insignificant. And only listen to me. 
that me, myself, and I in charge of your seeing, hearing, taste, touch, and smell, because I'll tell you the truth. <laughs> no, make God chew and all me and all that anthropos thinking, all that carnality, uh, uh, poopy, yuck stuff. Make it as filthy, stinking rags. It's just acknowledge that it's a bunch of bull crap. It's all things are, I count all that stuff as dung for winning Christ. Make God true and all me and all that anthropos thinking a liar. Falsehood. Ugh, yuck. I don't need that old candy stuff to get through. I can ask God, God, take this cup from me. I don't want to have to do this. I don't want this. But nevertheless, not my will be done, but yours, your will be done. Because, you know, I'm trusting in you with all my heart, all my thinking processes. And you'll lead my path. You'll tell me. You'll give me the right mindedness to make it through this. Not this old poopy stuff. That is very slippery and that serpent nature in you, okay, is tricky, more conniving, manipulating than any beast of the field. Now, field, that's your mind. Any beast, any that beast nature, it's all messed up. It's very, very, shots and everything like that. He hauling donkey, barking alpha dog, and that messed up parakeet or that. Serpent nature, it's all talking about the same thing. They're all false accusers and um, imposters of light, uh, Diablos and the Satanus. It's not some monster out here. Because it wants you to look out here and point, look at, forward out there. It's, it's like that. Don't look out there for the kingdom of God. For the kingdom of God is within you. Hmm. Let's go there and look at that real quick. Okay. Let's see. Uh, what was that? I did, oh, yeah. <laughs> I think it's where it's at. <clears throat> Give me this round. <coughs> uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Okay. Uh, it's just a little, I'm just going to touch a little bit on it, and you can go look and study yourself and prove it. Document it, lay it out there and examine it for yourself, for your own understanding, your own enlightenment of the love of God, for the truth, bringing you from this faith, those little seeds inside you, closer, 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 because you can agree more readily, easier in this eye of the storms that are definitely to come that are it rains on the just and the unjust okay in those eyes of the storm you got to do make a decision and that's in the eye of it being a good thing or a bad thing they're both eyes of the storm don't go oh it's scrambios i want more <laughs> you're getting farther and farther and farther off the right mindedness of god you're getting all giddy, you know? <laughs> and you're going to crash, baby. And it's down low. Oh, I'm getting depressed. Get down. Oh, yuck, suck. Oh, yuck, suck. Right. <laughs> Something you know, stupid and silly like that. It's, you're getting farther from the mark, from that pipeline of God. God loves you more than anything. More than God loves you more than even words can say. We have no comp no ability to comprehend how great that love is. Therefore, you have no uh, real understanding of what it's taking. God's willing to do for you to remove this dust, this dark matter, dark energy, this poopy thinking inside your earth, inside this mind of yours to bring you back to that pipeline. Back to that heavier water. I know this just this this lightweight water that's up here and down there and all over the place. Just like this electromagnetic spectrum all the way out here, radio waves or whatever. It's a long journey coming all the way back to E N and S Y N and that's in each and every thought process. That's like that's worse than trying to take a, tea, a little teaspoon out there and dig dig out a whole big mountain. A mountain range. 
Yeah, man, I gotta move all that. Oh, that's beyond me. I'll die. Before, I'll die of old age before I get all that done. <laughs> that's one my one little one little thought process. One little area. God said, "Now nah, relax. I got you. Just agree with me." Don't agree with that alpha dog inside of you. That snake, that snake in the grass, snake in your seeing are we not like grass where we're we're here today and gone tomorrow? Okay, it goes on and on, on. There's all kinds of examples. Okay, let's get back here and look at this uh Luke chapter seventeen, verse twenty. Okay, it's all in that area, but just just read this one verse so I can get on with this other, hopefully. <coughs> Now, <coughs> excuse me. Ah. Mm. Oh, I need to. Ah. Ah. Okay. Now, Luke chapter 17, verse 20 in the King James Version says, And when he was demanded of the Pharisees, okay, Jesus was demanded of the Pharisees. That's those one shining outside the cup. Same as today, and then all this stuff, all these pressures and stuff from the outside. Eh, that's not what it's about. And when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of God should come, he answered and said to them, The kingdom of God cometh not with observation. That's outward observation. Okay. Verse 21, neither shall they say, lo here, lo there. Whoa, look over here. Behold, this is big bad stuff. Okay. Behold, the kingdom of God is within you. Right there in the mind. And God is transforming that. He's bringing it into a more glorious state. That kingdom is a basilia. Uh, let's see, how does that pronounce it? <laughs> I know it's not. I think it says basilia, I think is the way it pronounces it. But I've always been uh, taught and, and just know it as basilia. Looks like more like what it says. But uh, it, it's it's this word. Strong's G, 932. <laughs> Basilia. Basi Basilia. Basilia. But <laughs> that's a little harder to remember. I'll forget that. Uh, Basilia. Well, I mean, I, I remember it, but <clears throat> it's sometimes in them hard, uh, when you're in this storm, the storms of life, and all these pressures going on, it's hard to pull up stuff. It's hard to think as clearly. It's like, oh, you're kind of like, you know, like when I'm, sometimes when I got days, bang, hit my head and stuff, about get knocked out or something. Everything's kind of like in a fog, and I'm like, <coughs> just trying to keep conscious. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's a little harder to focus. Well, you need to be able to. <coughs> uh, see it more clearly, have that stuff patted down. So it pulls it up, you know it better. That way, you're not fooled as much by this, like, fog, this fade, this, you know, all this dark matter, dark energy stuff in your thinking processes clouding up so you can't hear that still small voice of God. Well, that's really insignificant, right? Hmm. Now, this Basilia. Let me pull it up here so I'm... You're right, I know what it means. It's, uh, <clears throat> hang on. Say it's royalty. Prop from, from 935, it's royalty to rule, or the ruling realm of God. It's like the right to rule in that. To right, the right to rule as a royal knight, or a royal, like on a chessboard, like as the big guys, the, the, the queen, the bishops, the rooks, the knights. You know, you're gaining as you're, more of these thought processes, these little balls are going through and God's purifying them through fire and through these pressures. 
of life, these storms of life, and you're agree, 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 you're going back in, in, and that's why in God, it's getting to be a heavier, denser water thought process, right? And it's like going in that inside, it's in and that's why in that pipeline of God, knowing that God's your great and ex your exceedingly great reward, right? He's your salvation. God is salvation, right? Jesus, I E S O U S, right? <clears throat> you, you, the specific, you're 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 gaining the ability to love God the way He first loved us. And when you do this, you'll be like, kind of like if you take like a chess analogy. Uh, you're not the king, not God. You're not in charge. You're not the pilot. But you're, you're, you're kind of, you're, you, you get the, gaining the ability to function more in these areas. Through Christ, through the anointing of God, functioning more like a queen, a rook, a knight, or a bishop. And not just like a pawn or less than a pawn. Less than a nothing. You know, you can't hardly do nothing. Magnitudes less. Okay? Now, let's see here. Let's go back to the first. Read through. That's just a little bitty, like, synopsis of what that word is. I will not get too far off. I already went 21, almost 22 minutes. So, we'll get her. This will have to just go as long as it goes. <coughs> Verse 21. Neither say they low here, low there. For behold, the kingdom of God is within you. Let me check the within. Can't hardly stand it. Okay, within that's E N T O S. It's this word. Strong's G seventeen eighty seven. In toss. Yeah, and in toss. it's within or inside, and it's root etymology from that right down going on down. So you can see it in more detail comes from seventeen twenty two. Okay, that's a very familiar word. E N. Strong's G seventeen twenty two, N, N. N. Resting and relying it on God. It's His battle. It's not by your might, not by your power, but it's by my Spirit, says God, says the Lord. Right? Zechariah four six. Right. This E N. Okay. Wow. Got to read that verse again. <laughs> Neither say they, neither shall they say, Lo here or lo there, for behold, the kingdom of God is within you. Right? <clears throat> and he said unto the disciples, The days will come when you shall desire to see the Son of Man, and you shall not see it. It goes on, on, on there. We'll, 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 uh, but I, I touched some on that. I, I, I like to get on this, uh, what I was getting to here. <laughs> okay. Now these balls, these thought processes that God's purifying and, and burning out that garbage thinking, that dark matter and dark energy that's in, that's elliptically surrounding this pixels of light, these seeds of faith, that seeds, that portion of faith that he put within us, okay, and it's elliptically surrounded, so you can't even see that, God's burning that garbage thinking out, and then, then take and put lots of pressures of fire trials, and heat that thing up so that it starts melting, like that hill melt like wax with the presence of the Lord, that presence of God, that heat, that fiery stuff, it's burning it off. Not to burn you up and kill you, just like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in that fiery furnace. God's in there to protect you. Just agree, agree, agree with him. But that old, stinking, your righteousness, ooh, yuck, he's correcting that. So you'll, as you agree, repent, change the way you think, metanoia. Um, and returning to God, you're existing, existing, existing. You're agreeing, 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 right back through that eye of the needle, back E-N and S-Y-N God, back into this right to rule in royalty as like a big piece on the chessboard. 
is a queen and a bishop, a knight, your rook, you're gaining the ability to love as God first loved us. You're getting, being heavier water. Gaining neutrons in the nucleus of the atom, so it gets to be a heavier water. Your thoughts are not just this willy-washy tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine. No, it's steady. It's like load-tested. It'll handle this weight, handle this burden. It's easy. But it's not easy if you, you haven't been load-tested by God. <clears throat> the answer is God. Okay, in short. But oh, it's so much stuff. You can't get it right without God. Apart from God, okay? No. <clears throat> uh, so he's giving you the potential to repent. Or change the way you think. Do a 180 degree about face. And go back from out of that old stinking thinking process. Agreeing, existing in God. And going right back into God's righteousness. His love beyond words. In the eye of the storm. Those storms of life, okay? Uh, let's see what I got here. One must choose to agree or disagree with God and uh, fall back into the love of God, return to God, one's true origin. Uh, or they can disagree and fall in love with themselves, back into that dark energy, dark matter, poopy thinking, that BS, you know, and ugh. You know, of their own carnal mind, their own mind, spiritual mind. They can make a stand in that if they want to. That's death. To be carnally minded is death, right? Check that out in Romans 8. Okay. <clears throat> now, uh, God is asking one to be reasonable and see it or understand it his way. That's God's righteous way, God's right minded ways. That's love beyond words, okay? If one agrees in hot pursuit of God, and God burns out that garbage thinking, burns a little bit of that up, that garbage thinking, that dark matter, that really dense stuff, it's just ignorance of God. And this dark energy that's pushing all these little balls away from the other balls so that the seed, when they're that really dense, immensely dense in God's character, can't be can't grow into anything of uh, significant importance. He wants to keep it down there as insignificant as possible. It's not insignificant. <clears throat> okay? In one's mind, okay? As one habitually practices agreeing with and back in and that's why in God's righteousness existing to the self existing one. Uh, it's like going through the eye of the needle. It's similar to that. Okay? And it's this all in that. It's like God's asking, Shall we karate chop this board, this old humanistic thinking process that's within us? He said, Yes, sir, daddy. Emphatically in hot pursuit. Hi Remember 1961? <coughs> and this dark matter and dark energy from one's thinking it's being transformed into the right-mindedness of God, to the righteousness of God. Now, all that stuff was laid out there, so it show you. So you get like a little foundation. Maybe a little deeper, but a little foundation. Okay? Now, a ball is not merely a circle, just 360 degrees surround. A ball is 360 degrees this way. And 360 degrees the other way. Hmm. It's a ball. A sphere. Okay. And you can approach that ball. From like an infinite. Amount. Of directions. Vantage points. Okay. Not just increments. Just 360, one degree, then two degrees. No, no, no. Even between each one of the degrees, it's like an analog. It's analog, like your speedometer on the on the on a car. Not just digital stuff. Analog. There's a, like an infinite amount of points all through, through there. And what is that? Well, it looks like 
point, blah, 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 way out there, miles an hour. Or kilometer, kilometers an hour for those in like Canada and wherever, okay? The, you know, whichever units you want to use. All right? Uh, yeah, and a ball can be approached from many different directions, okay? Don't sit down. Okay, I'm about to run out of time here, so I'm making a little bit of progress, but uh, as we agree, God burns up or karate chops this, that little bit of a, as we're facing this thing from this direction, this little thought process, God, and we agree, shall we karate chop out this board, this, this board, this humanistic thinking, this nasty dark matter, dark energy, this poopy stuff? From your mind that you bought into and that you fed, uh, used all your time, talent, and effort doing. Shall we get rid of that stuff? Shall I get rid of that stuff for you, son? Disagree or dig agree? Right in the middle of that storm. Yes, sir, daddy. Chop that stuff out. It's poop. It's killing me. Oh, God. <clears throat> As God's like helping you to vomit that stuff out of your mind. hi -ya! He chops it out. Crowley chops it out, puts it on the consuming fire, burns that garbage up, and it's transforming it always in an upper manner into the spirit. And then it's, as it continues to heat it up, you keep existing in green. Just chop us out, get it out, get that metal out of this, that golden ore that's really in there. That seed of Christ, he's refining it out. Okay, I gotta, I gotta sign off here. It's about to run out of time. It was, uh, that was, Structural Toolbox number 85. I'll continue later. Bye-bye.